Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Tyra. That's Tyra. And, and, and that's that's Jay. This is Jay. And we're playing more Dragon Age Inquisition. Inquisition. All right. So, um, you can do all of these different things. Basically, uh, it's kind of like what they had already said. You can read what it's about, and then you can possibly be like, okay, well, this looks like it's going to be a talking mission. So maybe... Oh, they're big map missions. Right, you might want to, like, uh, send <gasps> Josephine instead, or whomever. Oh. Um, okay, so we have Address Nobleman's Concerns, the Terran High Ever, Hard and High Town 3, Varric's Revenge, <laughs> uh, or Gather Coin. Uh, let's look at the Nobleman's Concerns. Harold, your inquisition says it's for order against chaos, reason in darkness. If you stand by this, come forth and drive the heretics from my lands. They claim to be refugees, but I've seen elves and apostates among them. Filthy savages, tearing at our roots. Our monarch refuses to send forth armies, and my own knights are decimated at the conclave. I require your aid to return peace to my lands. Prove your loyalty, and I will see you richly rewarded for your faith. Praise the light, Lord Kildarn of Ferelden. All right, so um, okay, you can choose one at a time. Let me read them. One of the advisors. Go to go to the third or the first. Okay, Josephine. Ah, yes, Lord Kildarn, a pariah even among his peers. Let us send a polite refusal and nothing more. All right, what's the middle one? Uh, Liliana. Uh, we can take advantage of his raving. My spies can harass the refugees into moving somewhere else and win Lorne Kildarn's favor? And he huh. is on another mission, but this is what he would do if you sent him. We could send some patrols, but I would prefer they help the refugees, not this Lord Kildarn. You can either wait till Colin comes back, or you can go with <clears throat> one of these other women. It basically says that they, no matter what, which one you send, the required time will always be 19 minutes to complete. If I send the patrols, will I actually not be helping the refugees? Um, no, no matter what, you have to help Kildarn. He was just stating, I would prefer not to help him, but like, you know, we're not going to be um, aggressive to the refugees. <clears throat> and in the middle one, that would be more aggressive. Yeah. Okay, we'll wait for What's-His-Face to get home. Okay. All right, let's look at a different one. So, here is another one. To whom it concerns, the Tyranir of High Fever wishes to convey our deepest sympathies to the death of Divine Justina V. The Most Holy was incomparable in her wisdom and dedication to peace, and we had high hopes that her conclave would succeed. We will hold a vigil in High Ever in remembrance of Justinia and cordially invite the Inquisition to attend. Sincerely, these folks. Okay, so we should send a diplomatic attache and some of the Templars who knew the div Divine. Uh, I know Tyrion Kusland, and I knew Justinia. I can't attend, but I could write to him. And that guy's busy. First person. Josephine. Okay. Yeah. So then she goes on there. She does whatever she <clears throat> said that she was going to do. And then when that's finished, she'll come back with a report. Okay. And then this one. Let's see what it is. Is for Vera. You read this one. Ruffles. I need a favor. Actually, let's call it a loan <clears throat> since I'll pay it back. I got a letter from my editor in Kirkwall today. She tells me that Hard in High Town 3, the re, -pun the re punching, the re punishing? <laughs> Punching. Uh, appeared in print from an Ant Antivan printer a couple weeks ago. I'll give you a moment to contemplate the horror that is that title. <laughs> I had my contacts in the Merchants Guild look for the author a couple years back. The best they could find out after spending a couple hundred gold was that Pyrrhal Bella Forth is a pen name. I could have told them that for free. If you've got contacts with the Antivan print houses, maybe you could find out more than the Guild, Varric. So it looks like because it's like they're both rogues basically, so Liliana would have been the best one to send anyways. This is what Liliana would do. Alright, let's send her to do it. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's and everybody's busy now. So mm -hmm. let's go to this new place where there's an obvious rift we should close. Um not really. Right? That's what that green thing is. It's a it, rift. It's it it is, but it's more like a, a quick little like hey, draw my attention to you type of um, thing. Um, address the Chantry in Valreo. The remaining Chantry 
clerics have just declared the Inquisition heretical. Heretical. Attempts to gather allies against the breach have been rebuffed, and at this moment we could not step foot into the capital without being attacked by a mob or arrested. We must convince the Chantry to permit us entry into the city so we can show them the Herald of Andraste is not the monster they believe. All right, let's go do that. Having the Herald address the clerics is not Sexy. a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. I love her little and candle thing. The danger to the Herald. Let's ask her. I'm not worried. What can they do? It's just talk. Don't underestimate the power of their words. An angry mob will do you in just as quickly as a blade. I will go with her. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now, <laughs> we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. <laughs> Once they She's are like, ready, Hi. we will see this through. I love it. All right, cool. So hot. First, I'm gonna get you some better armor, okay? All right. So we're gonna come back and do this. Yeah, you're in charge of all that statistics stuff. It's not statistics; it's stats. <laughs> stats. Yeah. So we'll yeah. come back to that. You do you with that, boo. All right, people. I got my new threads. Let's go to Barrio. This is cool. I like how they all set up when you arrive. <laughs> Any what? Nothing right, yet. Let's go on. Let's do it. Valroyo. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay. The city still mourns. Looks pretty nice. Uh, lady? What the fuck? Just a guest seeker, but I think they all know who we are. You scared the shit out Your of that lady. <laughs> never failed to impress me. Sarah. She, like, fell sideways into the wall. My lady herald. Yes. Yeah, no, that's You're me. one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. And it's so bright in here. <laughs> People seem to think the Templars will protect them from, from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only okay. one thing to do then. Um, go undercover. Go and meet them, baby cakes. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Much better. From us? We expected this. We knew there would be some kind of reaction. But I didn't expect the Templars to make an appearance. The people may just be assuming what the Templars will do. I've heard of no concrete plans. You think the orders return to the fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. Beneath scratched by a vandal, and his head suddenly weighs too much. What? Beneath scratched by a vandal. At meeting, low door frame. Or at <laughs> meeting, a low door frame. <laughs> uh, inscribed upon a plaque, our lady and the actors of her rise and fall, her message and visage are worth repeating. That's hilarious. I wonder if we're going to find the vandal. It'd be really funny if That's we did. really funny. Beneath scratch by a vandal and unrelated headache. Aww. It's all the same one. Yeah, he, he got to uh, all the, uh, all those. Commander. Sorry. Unfortunate hair. <laughs> well, this place is very pretty. Oh, is this the place that I wish that we had we were gonna come? I think. 
Mm. Oh, that's gorgeous! Oh, in respect to the Emperor Alphonse Valmont, the Lions of Orlais, uh, a repeating element dedicated to the great defenders otherwise noted. It is rumored that one is gold, and one is bronze, and weighted with poison, and one is chocolate, and one is watching. What? You get to be chocolate and I get to be watching? As the saying goes, dare we all the thief to test his back? And learn which is most dangerous to try deny or lay. That made no sense at all. Mm -hmm. In truth, all are lead and leaf. <laughs> okay. Don't pretend to ride them too long, lest the mind give way. What? The fuck? Grace of the Empire North. And notice reads, This display reserved for discourse political with attending professors of social matters from the University of Orlais. Note that all vendors of loftable groceries will be closed in the hour beforehand and one half after. The second line of Orlais, in respect to Duke Isidore de Chocolat. That one is the one that's chocolate. Mm -hmm. Um. Welcome all before the grace of the Empire. Stage and audience for the use of all. For theater and business. For partnership and proposal. Be seen! A notice below reads, the display reserved for songs traditional by Lord Bamford and his players. Cancelled. Sad. Oh look, there's the people. The fourth lion of Orlais, in respect to the Duke Stephen de la Manamana. Grace of the Empire South, reserved for his strangeness, Sir Sound, and his static Puppets behind glass? That sounds like a riot. Are we not getting near the, the crowd? We don't want to set anything off. Look, exactly. there's a bulletin board. Over there. Bulletin board. What does it say? Nothing for us. Aw. Grace of the Empire West, the display reserved for presentations of affection as though private and also discounted spirits presented by Company Misdirect Theater. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we are. Good people of Val Royal, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart, silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of her murderer. Well, wonder no more. Ooh. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false Prophet, a wicked Kunari sent to subvert the Maker's word. Bitch. <laughs> Stop this now. Okay. Enough! I will not listen to these self-serving lies. We came here to talk. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be saved once more. <gasps> Baby, what the fuck? Yep, that happened. Still yourself. She is beneath us. What? <laughs> um. How dare you? 
Okay. What's the meaning of this? Her claim to authority oh. is an insult, much like your own. This guy's face looks funny. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Uh, Lord yes, Seeker. I will. Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet, you should be ashamed. This is not a banana you republic. Should be ashamed. You the should be ashamed. You smacked a lady in the back of the head. To banana the republic? Yeah, it's you when um you go to another faith. country and you set up a democratic republic where they vote for their leader, fear. even though, like, if you, came to appeal to the you know, Chantry, they don't know what's going on because the only destiny you think that demands respect. Democracy belongs everywhere. Uh, Templars, join us, Cullen dead. Templars, one of your own commands the Inquisition's forces. Join us as he did. You're a mage. Your ties are worthless. They are all made traitors just by being in your company. But Lord Seeker, <laughs> what if she really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. Oh, he's sick. I will make the Templar order a no, power it's more that like, stands oh, alone man, against the void. Oh man, he's such an evil person. Look how sickly we he looks. But he had little red stuff on his necklace. Independence. You have shown me nothing. And the Inquisition, less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. The other guy had the little red stones on his necklace, and his that eyes mean were that all was, red. That doesn't mean it's red there, yeah, but could be. Isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Will he see reason? Do you think he can be reasoned with? I hope so. If not him, there are surely others in the Order who don't feel as he does. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. That's what we're not going to do. <laughs> and we're going to go find a friend. That what the fuck? That? An arrow with a message? Yeah. Message attached, written in a large flowing hand with bordered, bordered with doodles. People say you're special. I want to help. I can bring everyone. There's a baddie in Val Royale. This sounds like a wild card character. I, I hear he wants to hurt you. Have a search for red things in the market, the docks, and round the cafe. And maybe you'll meet him first. Bring swords. Fred's friends of Red Jenny. A poor drawing of the location in the market is attached. <laughs> she sounds like uh like a little crazy lady. Is that who she is? Maybe. Look at that. Look at that picture. Uh-huh. She's a little crazy lady, ain't she? Maybe. <laughs> or my favorite. Or your favorite. And your favorite. Help her out. This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. No. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And it's you not their fault. No part in forcing our hand. Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars in front of everyone. Yeah, it's true. And my fellow clerics are scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. If you do not believe you are the Maker's chosen, then what are you? Someone who can help. Oh. Someone who can help close the breach and end this madness. That is more comforting than you might imagine i suppose it is out of our hands now we shall all see what the maker plans in the days to come you can still help us it's not too late the chantry could still help us and come out on top if only that were true but it is true what's to stop you from trying we are not looking for a winning horse we are simply trying to do the right thing but us too. All right, bye. Difficult time for those who have lost. While I understand concerns for propriety in the general dressing of the bazaar, I must caution that release is needed. 
We are suffering not just ongoing civil conflict, pitting brother against sister, not just outright war, pitting Templar against mage, but just the loss of our most holy and best of our leaders. We are suffering all three, as the sky is wounded for all to see. All we know of our world is threatened, along with all we know of the next. With the most grave notation, I ask that the writs of losses and missing remain, that the citizens, however indirectly, be allowed to post their griefs of known dead and the names of hopefully living, and with them their criticism of how they have been told or not told. For while I have no doubt we as Olysians will maintain our utmost composure, there must be release. There must be grief. There must be mourning. If not, we do not allow this simple expression. We risk a greater outburst. Let our people shed their tears in reserved a, in as reserved a means as necessary. The market will be cleared in due course. But this day, this time, we must let this simple expression stand. Written by Captain Albion. Pretty, so pretty. Oh, gorgeous. We should search the red area. stuff. It's probably that piece of clothing is what she meant. Um, a red handkerchief folded around a key with a small, hasty scrawl. Key lifted from drunk swearing about Harold. Don't know what door. I'm out. My debt is paid. Interesting. 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 Go for a swim. Uh, the Randy Dowager Courtly, the waterlogged courtly missive of suspect virtue. The Randy Dowager welcomes the blooms of spring with the collected Calypsian Corsarayardism being in the scandalous representation of Her Majesty's favorite re caught in the flagrant delectable. Can their uniforms and modesty withstand the assault? The Randy Dowager exhibitions for the noble of thought, but spry of strap. The lady herself says, hardly a tetris, but generously rousing of polished cuirass. Does it for you, and it should. Three scarves fluttered in shock out of five, R.D. And then we were stuck behind a barrel forevermore. <laughs> cool. Do we keep talking to her or is it pointless? It's very pointless. There's mm -hmm. no reason. Okay. They left us. The Templars left us to the mage. Well met. There it is. More clothes. A different simple script on the back of a stable report marked with red paint. Thank you, friends, for helping good lady Karis. Saw those who asked about Harold enter third passage. Could not stay to see them exit. Close. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa. What the fuck is that? Here, read that one. The head of Madame Snappy Snips. Mastered of Lamo... <laughs> Lamos... Du Lion, named in jest, but genuinely respected. The Grand Mam, as she is also called, was the last dragon brought down by Sir Conig, the previous owner of the cafe. A spirited hunter, Conig came of age in the years following the sighting that named the era. While others were quick to assume the tales of ancient Nav Navarian dragon hunters must have been exaggerated, he tracked the gra gradual increase in dragon numbers and size. Connick believed we had yet to see a true return of the beast of legend and that the specimens of his day were young despite their ferocity. It is a cruel victory, but today we know Sir Connick to have been correct, even as he may have fallen to his own expertise. He is, was, years overdue from his last hunt, and for the best of us, travel wary. What we thought to be the pinnacle of dragon strength may have been closer to adolescence. The scissors of Madame Snappy Snips may have left their siblings far behind. Excerpt and torn from a disposable walking tour of the capital by Philip A. Bard. Hmm. Interesting. Oh 
I don't want to read this. <laughs> Good day to you. Um, All right, let's find the the last red thing. The, the last red thing, and then we'll call it a day for this week. Okay. Okay. Boy. It's funny they all wear masks. Um. Yes, it's like the pinnacle of fashion here. Huh. Ooh. Ooh. A scrap of parchment is hastily torn from an ornate document, stuffed into its hiding space with a large red sock. <laughs> and we are to obey well. We meet at three bells to discuss how best to serve the new way. Scroll below in a misspelled script. Herald, go at time. Praise addressed. Taken together, the messages reveal a time, a path, a key to a location in the world map. Do we have to put that together, or is it doing it on its own? It's doing it on its own. Oh, well. No puzzles for us. <gasps> if I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona. Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps you should look among your fellow mages. Hmm. In return for what? And what do you want in exchange for the mage's help? Oh. I haven't promised the Inquisition our help yet. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. I was already there, An alliance though. could help us both. I think. All. You were. I well, we haven't gotten to Redcliffe yet, but it's oh, in wow, my lady the Hinterlands, yes. Huh. So basically, you get to choose between the Templars and the Come. mages. Let us whichever one you Well, we were trying to be friends prefer. with the Templars, and the Templars were being dicks. Yeah, looks like the mages uh, aren't being dicks. Yeah. It might, might have to be the mages. Yeah. Also, soulless. Soulless. <laughs> you know why he's called soulless? Because he's soulless. Uh, you said oh, that before. Oh! And you can find soulless in soulless. You good? Maybe. You mad, bro? No. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> Carmen San Diego? Wait, is that that's who we're, we're meeting the lady in red right now, right? Uh, looks like yeah. Okay, all right, just checking. Just making sure that the um the elf lady wasn't the one leaving all the red scraps everywhere. Elf lady? Yeah, the elf lady that we just talked to. Oh yeah, yeah, Fiona. The head of the majors. Yeah. How much did you expend to discover mm -hmm. me? It must have weakened the Inquisition immeasurably. Mm -hmm. You're not dressed in I don't red. Know who you are. You don't fool me. I'm too important for this to be an accident. I love it. My efforts will survive in victories against you elsewhere. Just say what? What is that? <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah! Obey me, arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Oh my god. Let's see your... Your well fit. <laughs> I've heard about your kind. Seeing the difference. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? The important thing is, you glow. You're the Herald thingy. <laughs> uh, yes, I am. Why? I oh, forget that guy. <laughs> sure, why not? I glow. What's going on? No idea. I don't know this idiot from manners. My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. <laughs> Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. For the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. 
I love Sarah. Shh. Why didn't you take that weapon? It's funnier. Because no breeches? Yeah, they don't have any uh, pants on. Oh! Breeches. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, right? I love Sarah so much. She's Aww. just so fun. Friends really came through with that tip. No breeches. <laughs> <laughs> so, Herald of Andraste. You're a strange one. I'd like to join. Cool! I'd like a real introduction. How about we get to know each other first? You know, names and such. One name. No, wait, two. It's... Well, it's like this. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people friends be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate so here in your face i'm sarah the friends of red jenny are sort of out there i use them to help you plus arrows do we want nobles spies or soldiers let's get spies she's she did a really good job of giving us away. hints to find her to these that was that was some top Here's grade stuff you important people are up here Shoving your cods around, blah blah, I'll crush you, I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crush you. <laughs> then you've got cloaks and spy kings, like this tit. Or was he one of the little knives, Ooh. all serious with his little knife? All those secrets, and what gave him up? Some house boy who don't know shite, but knows a bad person when he sees one. Mm -hmm. So no, I'm not knifey shiv dark, all hidden. But if you don't listen down here too, you risk your breeches. Like those guards? I stole their... Look, do you know <laughs> people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. Yes. All right, Sarah. God, I can use you in your Maxie, you smell so bad. Yes. Getting good before you're too big to like. That'll keep your breeches where they should be. <laughs> extra breeches because I have all these... <laughs> you have merchants who buy that piss, yeah? Got to be worth something. Is she anyway, honestly going to give us like 60 pairs See of breeches? <laughs> This will be grand. Bye! She's cool. I like her. I love Sarah so much. They who stand. <laughs> Fun. All right. So I think we'll keep going uh, next week. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, guys. Stay safe. Stay safe. Happy New Year's. Oh, well, it's been, it's been a while since New Year's, but you know what we mean. <laughs> But uh, have a great rest of your week. Mm -hmm. uh, bye. Bye.